Okay, in this last video, I just want to do the last little part of this chapter, which is the uncertainty principle, it's called. This may be something that you've heard about before. Now, Prince Paul. Um, this is, a uncertain, this is a Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Now, it says that the delta x delta p is equal to h bar over 2. All right, so what's that mean? Well, what it says that the the uncertainty in the sorry it's not it's not equal to it's it's, uh, it's greater than or equal to um it's saying that the uncertainty in x multiplied by the uncertainty in momentum always has to be greater than h bar over two and this is the uncertainty in the x direction um always has to be bigger than h bar over two now i don't want you to get too caught up in h bar over two the question is why would um uh, what does this actually mean what this means, if we define the position very well, so if we know exactly where a particle is, all right, it means the momentum is very poorly defined, okay? So, and it also means that if we try to measure the momentum really well and know its momentum, a uh, particle's momentum extremely well, it means we have no idea where it is. We have no, we have no understanding of where it is because again if delta px gets very very small delta x has to get enormous if delta x gets small delta px has to get very big or else we can't satisfy this on this um this uh, uh, uh this equation or this this um the, this uh, greater than or equal to um i'll quickly show you why this is actually true um the basic idea is this uh, when we measure an actual particle, one thing that happens is we have what's called uh, the wave function collapse. So let's say we have some probability. So if we have the wave function um, and we have some wave function that looks like this, if we measure something at a specific, specific point, um, all of a sudden we're going to find it, let's say, to be here. If we find it to be there, um, what's going to immediately happen is the wave function is going to what's called collapse on that point. What that means is that if we try to measure it again, we better measure that it's in the exact same place. If we have things jumping back and forth after we, so if we measure it to be in this place and then immediately after we measure it and it's somewhere else, we're gonna have a real big problem because it means that we can never basically say that our first measurement made any sense. So, so and we do find this to be true. If you measure it to be right here and you measure it right afterwards, it means that it is still right there. The only way that it can still be right there is for this to be for this to be the new wave function. Basically, it's say, it's right at this point right here. Now, if you try to find the wavelength of that thing, it's a very undefined wavelength. Now, why does wavelength matter? Well, if you remember, the momentum of something is equal to h over the wavelength. So if the wavelength is really poorly defined, all right, if there's a really poorly defined wavelength, it means that the momentum is really poorly defined as well, okay? By the same token, if something has a really good, well-defined wavelength, that's something like this, okay? Um, uh, if you, if it has a very well-defined wavelength, now this has a really good momentum, all right? So this, this has a really well-defined momentum. But if we ask where it is, well, we know how to do that. We just do the probability squared. It's here, or it's here, or it's here, or it's here. The only thing we can't say, it, the only thing we can say about the position is it's not at these points right here, but we have no idea where the particle is because it can be in anywhere where any of those humps are. And so that's basically how we can kind of understand this principle of that we either know really well where something is in space or we know really well what its momentum is, but we can't know both of them really well at the same time. And that's the whole idea of Heisenberg's uncertainty appearance, but we can do some interesting calculations with it, but that's kind of the main idea behind it. Um, hope that was helpful. Um, I think if you have any other questions, just look in the book. There's a lot more good information there, but this is kind of my brief overview for all, of all that.